Uh, now, uh, let's talk about Shamima Begum, the uh, ISIS bride. Now, the execs, the uh, Syrian uh, executives who run the detention camp where she resides in the middle of the desert, where she deserves to be, uh, have called her a model de detainee and called her very, very courageous because she refuses to wear the niqab or the burqa. She dresses in Western clothes. Actually, she didn't used to refuse to do that. She started doing that uh, to augment her campaign yeah. to come also, back to Britain. And she can't come back because she's not a yeah. British citizen. Also, point, I don't think having a costume change 10 years later suddenly absolves you for being a terrorist of ISIS. Yeah. You know, oh, look, I've got trainers on now. See, I'm nice. Yes. That doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. You know, apparently she was part of, uh, allegedly, the morality police. And uh, sort of, like, yes, overseeing is, yeah. the torturing and beating of women yeah. and all the rest of it. Uh, you've got to follow... Yeah. Blah, 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 all, these people, all these people say that. Well, and now she's just yeah. taken off a niqab and she's, like, Mother yeah. Teresa. Yeah, but all these people... Although Mother Teresa did have one of those things. Yeah, but all these people, they say she's done on the same day as uh, Princess Diana. Oh, we've got a lot, a lot of Good Friday facts yeah. Mother today, Mother Teresa, they? the worst day to be di to die on if you wanted to be remembered. Poor old Mother Teresa, maybe deserved a few more licks in the papers. Uh, didn't get many, because uh, uh, Diana died on the same day. Anyway, uh, the thing about uh, Shamima Begin, there's loads of people go, oh, well, you know, yeah, yeah, she's an ISIS bird, she did some bad things, but, you know, she's, she's our responsibility. We've got to... No, she's not. She's not a British citizen. She's not our responsibility. So as far as I'm concerned, she can rot in the desert. She's just one person. Give it up. Let's forget about her. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Stay out there. Yeah, yeah, she ain't coming back. And if she did come back, by the way, it would cost us a million pounds a Why year Why would she want insecure. to? She's so <laughs> to Get out of the That's desert, I think. Do. Uh, get out of the, the desert. desert. Go down Tesco and probably be attacked. Yeah, but I mean, it's better than living in a sand desert. dune. Uh, right. I don't know. <laughs> seen the state of Britain these days? Well, I think sand dune looks appealing. Yeah, I've got to check out some property in the so Syrian <laughs> desert. Right, <laughs> uh, let's move on. The BBC. BBC, the BBC is so cash-strapped because all it gets from us, from licensed fee payers, is £3.5 uh, billion pounds a billion. year. Uh, so it's slashing 100 hours' worth of t TV shows, uh, including Doctors, which is going to... the uh, daytime soap, which is going to get completely axed. Uh, but uh, basically, it's going to cut back on 13% of shows, uh, much many more repeats, uh, 350 hours slashed from their schedules. Yeah. So they're acting like they're in penury. Oh, we haven't got when, any money. Look, when the BBC first set up, it basically had BBC One and then Radio One, Two, then you got a bit of Radio Four, and then you got a bit of BBC Two. Now you've got BBC blimmin' everything, podcasts, iPlayers. Yeah, but not BBC Just, drama. Know, you don't need all that money. You don't need all those channels. Get rid of all the floof. Just have maybe one or two linear channels, a few linear radio stations, and pack the rest in, you greedy And, and considering you get 3.5 billion quid a year, will you please, please, please stop moaning about you haven't got enough money? You've got way, way too much. And on that bombshell, Alex, I'm afraid we have come to the end of this show.